Welcome to my sanctuary, Grandmaster. I am Evelyn, the Goddess of Light. To begin, choose your dominant hand. The gold coins you collect on your quest will tally on your right hand and your health can be found on your left. Try collecting all the items in front of you. Now, open your inventory from around your belt and use the potion to fully heal yourself before approaching. Grandmaster, though you are powerful and have conquered all of the challenges in your world, you will soon find a threat beyond your reckoning. By the hand of the unspoken shadows, this world will fall. Your knights stand by you in this darkness, but even they will be devoured. No grave shall be dug and no crypt shall be laid for these unfortunate souls their unkindled corpses rise to power the army of the undead, and death is their only salvation. You are the only one with the strength and skill to save your people, and with my aid, you can stand against these shadows from beyond. Quickly, ready your sword, and take this. Use the torch to recover the souls of the fallen and bring light to the darkness that threatens us all. For you are the one true hope, Grand Master. <laughs> Try blocking the enemy's attacks with your sword or torch. <laughs> to hit higher damages, Grandmaster. Grandmaster, Grandmaster, a are book you all right? on the gods of Anoria. It reads, Evelyn, the divine goddess. Uh. 
shines her torch of light upon this world. Her light bestows us with warmth, healthy crop. Well, I'm glad you have awoken from your dream state. I had feared the worst. I should have known you weren't in any danger. I've heard of nothing in this world that can strike fear into you. But these hordes of undead knights invading our realm must surely be on your mind. That is exactly why I requested your presence. From the titanous shards of the fallen enemy's weapons, I have forged you a great sword that our Templar priest believes can separate their very soul from these creatures' flesh. As I have learned, mortal weapons are of no use in the battle against this darkness. We have lost much to these beings, and there is so much more to fear. I can only hope this sword will serve you well, Grandmaster. May the Goddess's light shine upon your battles to come. Not precisely. There have been five attacks throughout the realm, and the incursions were usually over as soon as they began. The damage done and the costs high. Even with your immense speed on the battlefield, I believe only the gods can help you vanquish this darkness. The priest may be of more help to you now. Last I saw, he was across the courtyard entering the war room.
a book on the runes of power. It reads, These runes of cosmological power enable the bearer to wield more powerful weaponry, even some forms of sorcery. The carvings into these stones were made by the... All the runes have been collected here. Go forth with their strength. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Grandmaster, care to display your talents on the range? Samson has left me an extra bow and some new arrows for us to try out. Grandmaster, grab an arrow off your back. Fine shot. Nice hit. Good pull, good pull. Nice release. Fine shot. Nice hit. Good pull, good pull. Nice release. Fine shot. Nice hit. Good pull, good pull. Grandmaster, your bow can be retrieved again by grabbing it off your back. See you, Grandmaster. Good day, Grandmaster. None, sir. The last we received was of the attack at Fallen Oak Harbor a few days back. It has been very quiet of late.
book on the Grand Master. It states, Our Grand Master is said to be a descendant of the gods themselves. He rules...
Watch yourself, sir. <laughs> Where are you walking, sir? Be wary of your step, Grandmaster. Grandmaster, Grandmaster, quickly, I'm here in the closet. Ah, there you are, you sly devil, you. I hate to be a muck spout, but it's bloody anarchy out in our realm. I'd just gotten off the boat at Fallen Oak Harbour and things went absolutely pear-shaped. The whole town was ablaze and people were getting slaughtered by what looks like the undead from our very army. I barely escaped with me life, but I picked up this crossbow from one of those wretched creatures on me way north. Although only someone with the right runes of power can wield it. Take a gander, Grandmaster. And in the meantime, I'd be willing to purchase any goods or trinkets you have as well. Hmm, how about this price? Hmm, fine offer. Would you be willing to take this price? That's a reasonable offer. I accept, Grandmaster. Here are your coins. Hmm. Would you accept this price? You're asking far too much. Let's be a bit more reasonable here, sir. Hmm. Interesting, but how about this much? 
You've got yourself a deal, fine sir. Here's what I owe you. sell it to you. Hmm. I'll see you around, Grandmaster. A book on the symbols of Evelyn and Adaroth. It reads, The three moons symbolize the purity, love, and light that our goddess Evelyn shares throughout the world.
Yes, yes, welcome. What is on your mind, my young master? Together, Evelyn and Adaroth form the light and the dark in this world, and the next. They represent life and death, and the very spirits of all that walk this earth. Only faith in our gods can guide your way. The goddess has spoken to you? When? Where? What did she say? V. 
This is marvelous news. So maybe you are the one to foresee the next attack. I've marked the locations of the undead incursions on the map, but I haven't any idea where the next attack will be. Can you draw a pattern between these five attacks? I don't think that shows as much. I don't see what that pattern shows us. I don't think that shows as much. That doesn't seem correct, Grandmaster. That doesn't seem correct, Grandmaster. I don't think that shows as much. Doesn't seem correct, Grandmaster. I don't see what that pattern shows us. It's a pentagram. This is Lord Adaroth's doing. And if what you suggest is correct, the next attack will be here. We must prepare our defenses. Shall we head to the barracks now? All right, take this healing potion for the battles to come.
yours and soon to be usurper of the Anarian realm. Your people will never again find sanctuary in death. Their corpses are mere vessels for my faithful army and their souls will be trapped in my domain for all eternity. But I have different intentions for your soul, Grandmaster. <laughs> now, my loyal knights, bring him to me. Grandmaster. Master, this is the fate of your world, and to save your people, you must travel to a place void of the living. This place you will go, and the task you will undertake will be a greater challenge than any you have faced before, but you won't be alone. Light my flames in this darkness, and retrieve the souls of your men. Through their spirits, I will give you the strength to carry forth in your quest.
I have faith in your words, Grandmaster, and you will learn the power of your soul when the time is right. But now, you must hurry. Use your torch to relinquish the souls you have retrieved, and make haste to the ungodly shadows. As I said, Grandmaster, the shadow world you seek has no place for the living. Farewell, brave warrior.